I mean, there's a lot of ways to win games and a lot of ways to lose games. The bottom line tonight was uh, I was really last week with our just our total effort as a team and the decision that our players made in competition to compete. We talked an awful lot about that uh, this week and. You know, every athlete has a decision to make in, in competition and, and uh, to play physical, to do the fundamentals and techniques that they've been taught to do. And tonight, we had a whole bunch of guys pouring their heart and soul into that. You learn how to play for your teammates. Um, you don't want to play any other way. And uh, we had a lot. <laughs> and our whole team. And I know we have a couple guys that transferred that had done that, but we hadn't had anybody that had beaten a Power Five team. Oh. This was big, you know, it's big, big for our kids to, to finally punch through and win a game like this, you know, big for our coaches, just a, just a really, really big effort for everybody involved. And uh, we're very, very blessed, um, you know, to, to be on the right side of it. We could easily have been on the wrong side of it. So it's the way the ball bounces sometimes. And, we were fortunate it bounced our way tonight. We're, we're, um, you know, obviously very concerned about Brendan O'Leary Orange. I, I got some some positive reports. I don't have a lot of information about him, but uh, he is alert and he's moving, and and we're hopeful that he is a full recovery and and um, and he's back with us soon. I couldn't tell you one stat in this game, and I don't really care. The only one I care about is the score right now, to be honest with you. Any questions? You know, I think, uh, I think we've been really pressing these kids to really give the most of themselves. And uh, you have to be unselfish to do that. Um, it's not an easy thing and um, really proud that we had you know one of the things we talked about as a team was you know last week I saw one or two guys flying around giving incredible effort and tonight I saw a whole team of guys I saw offense defense special teams there were a lot of mistakes and there was a lot that wasn't perfect about this game but every game's that way Every game has moments when you don't do what you're supposed to do. Every game has moments when the opponent makes plays. Um, but the key is you got to keep playing. And we talk about all the time, four quarters of effort. You know, stay focused, try to do your job, trust your teammates for four full quarters and give unbelievable effort. And the greatest satisfaction you ever get in this game is by giving everything you have. Um, all the way to the fourth quarter, and uh, we got a whole bunch of guys that did that tonight, and that's what I'm most proud of. No, we wanted to take the ball. Uh, we wanted to be aggressive in every way. Um, one of the things, you know, we got Gabe. Gabe had to sit out the first half, so we wanted to take another possession if we could in the first half. So we took the ball, um, and uh, you know we, we we came out really aggressive and ran the ball really well. Um, you know we 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 didn't execute as well uh, later in the game, later in the half, in the second half especially running the ball. And you know I said this earlier in the year how important it was for us to be able to run the ball downhill. 
you know, we do have playmakers in the passing game. The passing game's a big part of what we do, but we really want to be balanced. And we ran the ball really well early. Um, didn't run it quite as well later in the game. Um, we had the one drive in the, uh, in the second half where we did run it well and we went down and scored. That was big. Um, but we've, we've got to find a, a, a better balance there and, and, and more consistently th throughout the game, we have to do a better job running the ball. Um, you know, we did get out to a big lead and, you know, it was disappointing we couldn't continue to add to that because I felt like we could. So we'll look at the film. Um, you know, we got another big challenge this week. This team ended up running a lot of, a lot of even front, a lot of four down front that we hadn't seen. And we'll see quite a bit of that next week from Toledo. So uh, we're going to have to do a good job with that. I thought better early, you know, we, you know, losing Sean Kreps is, was really hard for us. Uh, you know, we moved Clay Meyer to center and it's the hardest position to play in the offensive line. The kid's never played in his whole career. So the, the, the job that Clay's doing for us is incredible. Um, tremendously unselfish kid, very intelligent, great demeanor. Um, but we are playing, you know, two or three guys out of position on the right side of the line and we're doing the best we can. We just moved a true freshman, Aaron Frost. We actually moved him to right tackle on Wednesday, and he actually played tonight on offense. Um, and so we're going to need him uh, to, to help give us some physicality and some depth in the O-line. Um, we're not nearly as physical or as confident in the union right now as we need to be. Um, we're hoping to get Kreps back maybe this week, maybe in the next two weeks. And that certainly will give us some more experience and physicality in that union. But that's been a big thing for us. That's been part of our inconsistency of not being able to run the ball. And um, we're just a little bit young, a little bit inexperienced. Jermaine Ledbetter is trying to be in there. He hasn't been here very long. We played Miles, Miles Beach at right tackle last week. And, and he's got to do a little bit better job. So. You know, we're, we're, we're doing a little experimentation there and, and trying new guys, uh, but, but that's something that needs to settle down and we need to show improvement in our offensive line as we move forward. It's, it's huge. I think, what do we have, three turnovers, I think? Uh, you know, that's, that's absolutely huge. And we, we want to be more disruptive, disruptive defensively. You know, obviously Malik Reed is just, his whole career he's been a great force as a pass rusher. Um, the, inter, the interceptions, the fumble recovery. You know, I couldn't be prouder of, of Burdell Robbins. I, a lot of people don't know, is, 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 he lost his brother a year ago on this date. And... Um, you know, when, when, when something tragic happens to a freshman, it's very difficult for him to recover and fight through it. And we supported him as a team. And um, I couldn't be proud of, of how he performed tonight and how he's handled himself since then. Um, you know, just it's a real tribute to his teammates supporting him. But all those turnovers were huge. Um, you know, and I think Burdell as a young man is really going to grow from this and show a lot of maturity. Um, and he, he, he played honoring his brother tonight and what a performance he had. Uh, um, but those turnovers are huge for us, absolutely huge. We got Jaws over there, Coach Jaworski with the turnover towel, getting the guys excited. And we've talked about it a lot. We've emphasized it. And, and it's going to be a big part of our success moving forward. No doubt. I, I, I think, uh, you know, the, day, the game really became a defensive game in the second half after all the scoring in the first half. And, you know, there's ebb and flows in games, uh, and you just got to keep fighting. Um, 
you know, I thought our defense kept us in the game in the second half when we weren't scoring and we weren't moving the ball. And, and, and games are going to be that way. Uh, you know, I think uh, our defense has made a lot of progress. We're playing with a lot more confidence. And I see guys playing together and doing their job. And, and um, we have to play together as a team. Our, our defense has got to support our offense, and our offense has got to support our defense. And then our special teams, I thought, really, really was outstanding as far as field position in the second half. We had some big punts. Um, you know, we did some decent things in the return game. And, uh, and that's how we have to win games. We have to play off each other. Uh, um, you know, as I look forward on, on our schedule, it's, it's a wild schedule. I mean, everybody in our league can score. You know, this t Toledo team uh, is really a potent offensive team. So we're going to have to score a lot of points. We're going to have to play timely defense. And we're going to have to respond in special teams every week to, to have an opportunity to win. And uh, as long as, as we continue to do that together, uh, we're going to have a chance every week to win. So, um, you know, that's kind of our recipe. We got to score points. We got to play timely defense. And we got to, we got to win the special teams every week. And that's our, our recipe for success.